and it's Cole Morris. Cole Morris against Phil Harrison. Race is seven, match clock's on fifth. Okay, he looks like he's uh, going for reds. Nice split. Stand up the middle of the table. Yeah, he's just under hit that a little bit. You've got to be careful he doesn't go in off and hopefully he gets a, a fat kiss on the yellow and he should be okay. Yeah, lovely shot. That's a good start from Carl. Just finish these uh, four balls off. That will be the dream start for Carl Morris. And this was a match from back in the day, this. Yeah, definitely. Still is. Still We're still not back in the day, Dylan. Well, you know. No, this is the day. Today's the day. Yeah, just looking for a nice little drop in. Drift down towards the black. I suppose you've had a many a battle with these two. I've had a few matches with a pair of them. Exactly right. Battles with Carl. Yeah. So sort of very smooth matches with Phil. Well, smoothly for him because he won most of them. <laughs> yeah, solid start there. Yeah, and it's Houdini taking first blood. He stays down on the shot now, where he used to just lift his head and just wallop it and see what he does this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's kept it. See the way he's kept his head down? Oh, and he's, yeah, he's cream nose. Very good. Nice little nudge over from the red. Reds at first glance look okay. Well, the pair of these players both won one world title each. I do remember Carl Morris was one. That was 1998. Beat Keith for in the final. And oh, we did the commentary on that, bizarrely. Yeah. How far did you get that year? You, uh, Sorry? How far did you get that year? Were you a seven well, I had to de deliberately get knocked out of the tournament so I could do the commentary. <laughs> so yeah. I was commentating from the last 256. <laughs> Um, probably does squeeze past the red on the right hand bottom corner so it shouldn't be any problems here we'll just get over to the one over the rail yeah lovely nice control there from Harrison yeah that's just just glide us down the rail and I think they're all pretty standard well, he takes this for down the rail there you can see where he wants to be with his next yeah. for his next yellow into the middle the rest of formality probably slide up with his yellow that's touching the rail at the bottom left hand side of the table probably be his last one yeah. you'd think and just sort of check the cue up and probably play the black into the right hand center or the right hand top corner indeed yeah easy as that absolutely it's yeah. easy sat here yeah that's right yeah, I've, I've, I've had a quick look at the rankings and um, this field sort of dips, he started this ultimate poor journey uh, a bit slowly and um, getting used to the clock and everything, but now he's, he's, he's in the top 10, I believe. Um, and Carl, he started really well, I think he was first season, he was like six, he's, he's dropped down to 38. I know he didn't play many tournaments last year, but, um, but I mean, he's too good to be 38. He's a bit straight there, maybe overdone it. Yeah. He's just going through his mind, is his last yellow to get to the black. He's caught yeah. in two minds between the two, the one at the bottom here that's touching the rail and the other one. And he's, he's, this this is, is all down because of the position to get on the black. <coughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is where it's a little bit tricky because because of brand new cloths and this kind of shot, uh, you could skip, it might not um, grip as much. See, now he's lost the white, and that's what I'm talking about earlier. It's that's so why, you know, when I suggested the other, the other way, just pop that yeah. in and pop the two together, you couldn't fall, you couldn't snoot yourself. 
Yeah. That, that's the only reason that I would have gone the other way. But but he, he's only he only tapped that, but he just flew off the bottom rail there. So I mean, we think he's got to pull up a weld here. He's going to try and maybe cut it past. Oh, he's give it a wallop. Oh, he's got it. Oh my God. Wow. And he's got to do another trick now because I think he's sneaking. Can, he can he see enough to put it into the top left-hand corner, Dylan? Do you think? Mm, it doesn't look like it from this angle. Maybe he might be right. Don't be surprised if you come off one cushion. Oh no, it does go to the top. Well, if he gets out of here, this will be unbelievable. And he's got it. Oh my oh, word. Wow. Well, it's, well, it's a bad beat there for Carl. What's the thought? Absolutely. It's always a left stop. Alright, see if we can get the break like he did in the first round. Ball. Decent hit, but dry. Oh, and the reds are looking. Oh, has he got one? No. Sorry, when he got nope. on the other, yeah, the other side of the table, I thought he must have put one. Okay. So, yeah, I think the reds are definitely the the set here. Yeah. So just drop this one in, one along the rail, and then just pop his white up into the, the centre of the table. So the black is probably no black should be fine. Top left hand corner where yeah. this red's just going. Yeah, left a, a right. brief look, you just take all these reds in order as you come down the table. Yeah. You want to take the one that's by the black spot. Just yep. to drop, yeah, you can leave it. You sent to the last red's the one to the right hand near the right hand middle. Yeah. And just leave yourself pretty straight on the red into the bottom corner. I mean they probably go a completely different way now after all that. Yeah, I th I'm not sure if you've got a bad bounce or he's still sort of struggling with the table there, but I'm sure. Well, the one and that red off the top rail there, he does. That was been the first, uh, the second shot. Um, so interesting to see how it goes about because now he's not, he's not got a good angle. He, um, he could drop that in dead weight and fall behind it. It's a bit fidgety. It's a harder shot than he was hoping to leave at this point. No, that's fine, yeah. Mm, still a lot of angle, but he, he should be fine. <coughs> yeah, he sort of glide this along the rail at the top. Leave himself a little angle onto the red into the right hand centre, just to dribble the cue ball down. And then that will be all the donkey work done, Dylan. Yeah, we've just got to be careful on this one. Don't overrun it. And that looks, that looks fine. He wants to play for the two middles now. So he's, I think he's got enough angle just to drop onto the, the other one over the middle. Yeah, looks good to me. Yeah. Pretty good. Just play a little bit left hand side. Just he pops this into the middle, just to straighten up the cue ball for the red. And the black may go in the bottom, the bottom left, past that yellow. I think he just drops these two, two in and plays the black up to the top left hand corner. Yeah, he's got a lot of, I think he's got more angle than he wanted. Might be he, having to go top right. He may cannon it, he may cannon the yellow. Is he a cannon off? Trouble is if you don't play that right and you end up stuck to the black ball. That's true, yeah, he's got to hit the right hand side of it if he is. I don't think he is, I think he's just, oh he's pretty straight, yeah, he's right. And he's in between the two. That's what I'm saying about this. These, these tables, are, they can you can just roll out an inch and then you're, you're chasing. Yeah, he's just shaking the head, but that don't mean anything with Phil. No. I think when he, when he, when he shakes his head, he's normally exactly where he wanted to be. Yeah, that's perfect. And in she goes, and Phil Harrison now takes a 2 1 lead. Okay, let's see then. Let's see if he creams it like last time. Oh, not as good, but he's got a ball. And yeah, so first look. I think the reds are good. I mean it's just one tricky little red by the black. Yeah, he didn't really get through that as well. But managed to get Decent explosion with the balls though. Yeah, got a good split. So, yeah, I think I think the reds have all got pockets, you've just got to yeah, I think the reds are good. Same, uh, Tony, are you, are you the same? I think. 
I can attack that um, horrible one so pretty early. For me, yellows. Really? Yep. They all go. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he's gone red. So he must oh, God. Uh, thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd have definitely gone yellows because no, they're all available. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. There's, there's nothing you've got to move. Well, I mean, the reds are, but I think I just, for me, personally, I thought they were just a little bit easier to get on. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. The, the I yellows. think that red nearest to black could be a, a bit of a problem. You've got also two reds together at the left where you've got to be perfect on the one to, to the side of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got into his problem area now. He can get right in amongst it. And it you know, and it, it is he should knock him in. He should, yeah. It was either or, really. I mean, it was a pretty 50-50 split. No, I yeah. think yellows were easier. I would I'm say 55 stand by my yellows. Guns. Yeah, you're right. Just gonna play the one next to the yellow. Yeah, next to the Sometimes when you're playing and you look at the table and you see the break and you, your eyes are immediately transfix as a colour and yeah. you don't look at the others. Oh, he's missed it. Wow. I was looking at you then, explaining myself yeah. and, and I missed that. Looking at it's that not a bad. It's not a bad. It's got. It's got work to do, Carl. But I mean, he's happy to get back to the table. But yeah, so maybe you can turn it over and leave him in that corner. Just skim off the yellow. He's going to try and yellow. slide this behind the red, isn't he? Has to, because if he gets it in front of that red, even the loss of turns, no, there's no value no. in the loss of turns. So he does put himself in a commanding position there. Yeah. I mean, he's got a big pocket in the middle. So this one is. Oh, maybe that does go. Is it, is that? Uh, that's fine, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, well, he can't even play it. Well, he can play. He can play lots of turn, but there's no yeah, value in no it. No value in that. Yeah, he might have to put a couple of balls and then try and cannon it. In. He can't skill that. My initial shot now, I'd be playing the red into the eight ball and just try and slide the red in, and then just knock the eight ball on the rail just to make it a little bit yeah. di more difficult for Carl if I do cock it all up. Yeah, you still got the shots there, Tony. Yeah. I just can't play them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know he wants to, yeah, and I, I'd be tempted if they think, well, I've made the black awkward enough, it doesn't double anywhere, you've got to get right behind it to pull it, but then, you know, we are talking the pro game. Yeah, you don't really want to give the guy like, another op uh, opportunity at the table, so, but I think this is, you can't I do don't a lot th more. I think he's got, got no to, though. Option. Yeah, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. I think he has to because it, if he waits another shot, all Carl's going to do is pop one of those yellows, kick the black into the open, and then yeah. just sit there. But well, I think for a shot, he can kick the black out. While he well, he's given himself a glimmer, let's yeah. just say. If, if he couldn't leave that yellow there in front of it, he had no, to play no. it. He had to do that. Yeah, I mean, Carl was a cagey old, old player, and these new rules, he's, I think he's getting to grips with them anyway. When I was playing with him last night, he was playing sort of clever little shots. So, oh, he's, got, he's got all the shots in his lockers, it's yeah, cold. Definitely. He likes to play little cannons and this, that and the other. And, and you know, you think, well, he's not got any finish and he'll, he'll bump off a couple of balls and you think, where's he got that from? Yeah. And that's why the Houdini nickname came in. Yeah. Because those little things, you think he, he's, he's got nothing. And then all of a sudden he's out of jail. <laughs> he tried to get on the, one in the middle. So now it's a little bit awkward. Yeah, he's a bit disappointed with himself in that shot, shaking the head. Yeah. So he's going to have to play for the one by the middle into the corner, I'd say, and try and screw back to leave himself in a position shot to get on the black. Well, he's uh, negotiated through that gap. It's a little bit... He wants to get off the rail. Yeah. He's a bit straight on this now. He wants, he wants some angle. It's difficult to see from this angle. If you can double the black, if it was available. Um, the red in the middle of the table looks like it might be on the line of that double. Maybe play for the double in the corner. Yeah. Double is though, when you go so far into a clearance, you've, you've really got to sometimes gamble. Well, yeah, you can't. There's no, there's no hiding. He's all in now for this. Yeah. He's, there's no turning back. Yeah. Deep screw back and hopefully lands on that rail. 
to knock the black in. I can't see him cutting it down the rail. It's a horrible shot. Yeah. Screw double. Big shot. Yeah. We won't see it go in because. Oh. Well, it what is. a pop. Yeah, it's a great shot. It gives him a, at least it gives him a, a go at it. I mean, knocks this in. It's a, a good a good reply, really. So I think two all would be a fair result. If he knocks this in, it's a tremendous finish. He, it he's pulled be. a rabbit from a hat. Hmm. Uh, just see him keep his head down and just cue through this. Yeah, lovely. Wow, Very what great. a finish from Carl Morris yeah. there. Yeah. System. Well, it's a good split. Uh, He's yeah. like the cue ball away from that top rail there, Dylan. One good. I think, yeah, it's, I mean, these tables play so nice. I mean, he, he dropped that in the middle, no problem. He's got a lo lovely split on the reds. Um, oh, stopped. Yeah, I, don't, I think they match up all right. Or maybe not. I didn't see that red on the, on the left. Ooh, so it was a bit trickier than I thought. Well, yellows are ideal if you put your first yellow. Yeah. Is he going to be brave enough to take on the long one into the bottom right corner? Is he just going to take the reds and try and come out? He's, well, he's taking the bull by the horns, going for the big yellow. Fair play to him. Yeah. Knocks these in there. Uh, uh, never in that tough. one. Yeah. He's handed over the table to Phil Harrison. Yeah, you don't get rewarded. Sometimes you just don't get rewarded for such a good break, you know. And, you know, if we'd have knocked that in, that would have been a great confidence booster, but he's turned it over. What he's done, he's made the yellows a little bit more awkward than they were because yeah. of missing the ball. It's bumped those two together now on the rail, and, and he's not got a, well, he's got an easy start into his bottom right hand corner, but he's kicking into the yellow at the bot bottom of the table, and you know, there's a bit of work to be done. Yeah, definitely. He, he needs to clear the yellow. On that rail before he goes to the town on the other two. That's landed a bit straight. Mm. So I don't know how much angle he's got on that. If he can punch that out. Is he looking to play safe? Snow Queen? Maybe. I think Phil will attack. Yeah, I think he will. Yeah, he had enough angle punch. Yeah, that's oh, a good play that shot. well. Wow. Couldn't play that any better. Yeah. Can you play the yellow into left hand centre and screw and hold into that red? It's just above it. That would be nice. Can get rid of his uh, awkward one on the uh, left hand side. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. I don't know, it does not be confidence with, like I said, what I've been saying about the cue ball now. He could, date, he could do that and slightly overscrew it, and, and he could be in no man's land. That's we didn't even bother man. using no. the red, but he's, that's probably he's, the right choice. Yeah. yeah. And I could just drop this in, and then the rest will link up lovely. I thought it had a little bit more angle than that, and I thought he would have to, to bump into that red, but. Yeah, likewise, yeah. This is frame shot, you feel? Yeah. Just get this in, and. Oh, he's missed it. No, he hasn't. Well, it wiped its feet, didn't, yeah. it, didn't it? Again, new tables, they play so different, slide everywhere. I think you've missed the ball and uh, you get happy days. So, really, you just drop this into the centre, you leave a little angle, I think, on the one in the corner, pop the cable out, play into the centre again, black in the bottom left-hand corner. Perfect, yeah, I'm with you. Doesn't have to do anything too fancy. Wow. Another one. Maybe he's seen it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice now. <laughs> I've, I've got to say, oh my god. Yeah. Wow. He'd like to come off the rail a little bit further with the cue ball as well. Just. I'd this is it. I mean, he could, he could get a flyer. We can't drop it. He's got to screw back a little bit because oh, yeah. he doesn't want any angle because he doesn't want to go too far where the red, the red will impede getting through to the black ball. Now yeah. has he come? far enough over. He's, a, he's, he's having a little wobble. It's I think he can just get this far jaw and drop it in and the white's not going to really move from where... Yeah, he's he's little... Just trying to bite it, just to... Yeah, yeah played it well. Yeah. Had a bit more bit more to play with than we thought there, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, 
So, Carl's, I think Carl's been unlucky really with, with his two breaks. Yeah. The fan club at home would want to know. Of course. It? Well, it's going to be Harrison breaking off anyway. 3 2 up against Cole Morris. Well, I can tell you, Stevie Dempsey is 5 3 down to Josh Kane at the moment. Make that 5 4. He's just pulled one back. Any updates on uh, Eddie Barker? He was playing on the outside table. He was playing Afran Dad. I think it was four each last time I looked. I'm afraid I can't find him anywhere. He's lost four, seven four to half hand dad, as Eddie oh. Barker. There we are, that's why I couldn't see him because he's quite a way back up the list there. Yeah. Shane Thompson obviously we beat, beat Paul Clapp, seven five. Cole Bedford is beating Rona McCarthy seven one. Wow. That's a big, big score. Ronan's playing well. He was playing well last week. Carl Sutton 3, Gio Edgar 3, Chris Day 4-2 down to Greg Batten. We've got Liam White 4-2 up against Brian Halcrow, who we saw earlier be beat Yannick Berfis. As you said, Dylan, Lewis Roberts is 4-2 up against Jack Whelan, and we've got Craig, Craig Waddingham 2-0 up against Cormac Kerr. And that is you up to date with all scores. Well done there, sir. Thank you very much. Right, one shot, two cushions, trying to get in the middle of the table. Oh, he's, he's OK. Long red to the right of the black now. Bangs yeah. that in. Frame ball. Yeah. It's pretty straight. You'd expect him to knock this I in. I think so, yeah. He's just um, just got a slightly off angle where he could, he could... Well, Carl's been kept his seat now for a couple of frames. It's just Harrison's now starting to find a rhythm as well. Yeah. I mean, Carl just needs just a sniff. But Phil's not giving him. That's a nice shot. I don't think it goes in off that yellow over the middle. Uh, Just for me, he's knocked it a little bit further away from the centre of the table than I'd have liked to be. Yeah. It's trying to get it back out. So I'll leave a decent angle. Can he, can he maybe punch it over? Is it? Well, he could play it off the yellow and kick into the black ball. It's red if you wanted to, and just yeah. leave an angle to get out that way. Ooh. He certainly didn't want to stick I himself to the black ball. Hands up if you know anybody that's going to play a double in a, with a red in a minute back into a left-hand middle. Because <laughs> I don't think he can get past that back to that red. That's why I just thought he could have borrowed a bit of pocket, played off the yellow into the centre and screwed into the black black ball. Yeah. And left himself an angle to pop out for the other red. Yeah. And also the black would have been a bit a bit nearer the bag as well towards the corner. Yeah, opened it up. Oh, he can get through to that one. Oh, yep, Here comes that back double. You I told you, didn't oh I? God, and he's on it as well, is he? Oh, oh the double kick just so helped him there. Wow. Do you just take your medicine, just drop this in and play length of the table, Black Dylan? Yeah. Yeah, you, you've got to leave yourself shot. Yeah, don't want to be too fancy. I mean, what else could he do? He could screw into the yellow and try and pop it in the middle of the table, but that's... Loads of top and left-hand side and come off <laughs> around yeah. the houses. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, that's Do you know what? He's tried to part that, use the yellow to buff him out and play it so he could play the black in the same pocket, and he's yeah. missed he's the gone red gr unbelievably. He's gone greedy there. He has. Yeah. Um, he's had a stroke of luck, and, um, and then he's, yeah, he's just wasted an opportunity. What do you think Carl Morris might have to run and hide a player snooker here? He could get, in a he could get in a into a decent snooker because that black ball does stop the straight across. If he gets, he's having a little look. I mean, he's there. He if he gets a cue ball there, yeah. he's having a look because he knows he's going to leave a two cushion escape. He's going to back double it, I think. He's going to back double to a yellow and try and knock that yellow onto the red. Oh, we you know. Oh, I see. So, no. No, I don't see. I thought he was just going to drop that in, back double it. And punch the other one out while he's got well, he, could, he could hit this now and just in, screw the keyboard back into this yellow that's on the left hand cushion and he uh, won't leave him straight well maybe that's what he was looking at then yeah you're right yeah he's i think he's looking at what he's leaving phil he's leaving phil a two two cushion escape he's still gonna have a he's got the oh he's played it well so that's what 
He was looking to just see that two cushion escape up at the top because I think that's all Phil's got. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, he's, he's sort of cut off the angles. Uh, maybe he's going to have to put a load of side on the and go round. And yeah, I think I think you're right, Dylan. Because if he plays it the other way, the slide it, it probably nearly hit the yellow that's over that middle bag. Yeah, he's going there. He's going there. Yeah, far side though. That's very it. close. He's gone. Oh, I think he had it then. That was very very close. So, do you reckon Carl pops him in again? <laughs> no, he did. He he's dead, dead because he got uh, very close with that one. <coughs> I would, um, I would pop. <coughs> I would say a nudge it, but I, I would use the one over the middle and just. Um, I think you might pop this and try and screw into yellow and black and all sorts here, yeah, 100 mile an hour. But it's no guarantee he's going to be on on the middle pockets. Yeah, the ones on the middle pocket. I would. Hmm. Not sure about this one. We'll see. Did not the black in. Nice. Yeah. Well. How fine did he? Clamp, that was clump into that. Still got to play a position shot on that black. But they're there now. They're there, yeah, definitely. So we run it off two. Comes that one down. Yeah. So he's going to leave that one on that middle. Yeah, he's, he's going to take two ball. yellows at the top now and leave his two middles to the yeah. last two, and then for me, I'd be play the one on the right I think I'd leave that till last the right middle would you yeah I think I'd be tempted actually to pop this one in the, over the other middle now and play the two at the top leave the angle to come down and then around behind the black into the center okay um, he's going in completely the opposite yeah, way of course he'd go the way yeah there's nothing wrong with this way but no, yeah he just leaves it just first off straight he can shot preference the pocket yeah, yeah. It'd be more comfortable to stun it. He might even play it and just roll it in and play it in the corner. Yeah, corner and middle. That's what he'd be looking at. I think he's happy with his angle he's left himself. Yeah. But then. But the thing is, he doesn't want to come too far down the table and not have it and leaving the angle. He has to go all the way back up to the top again. Yeah. Oh, it's. I think he can. Oh. Do you do overhead on this table? You can't get it, can you? Well, he could leave it there, and it's still what half ball cut into the corner. It's, he's 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 putting a load of gear on this. He's coming around the houses. I think he's pinching. The oh wow! Oh my god! Well, look. well, that's certainly not where he wanted well, to be. There's been a couple of shots I've been a bit surprised at where you could leave a self shot, and you probably wouldn't miss it. That was does he play the double or does he play the snooker, Dylan? What do you do? Oh. The doubles too. I mean, the, the snooker's too easy to hit, but it could possibly jaw and he'd leave he a could shot. Double kiss, yeah. He could misjudge it. Mm. Is he thinking of knocking it in, knocking the red in? He's going and for it. Oh, he's got lucky. He's got lucky. He's left him a double. <laughs> How do you like that for a shot? Well, but his fame's had a, a few twists and turns, and um, like I say, I'm, I'm surprised that he, both both have had opportunities to leave a shot on the black and uh, opted to try and be a bit, a bit too cute. Yeah, he's got that. Yeah. Well, Harrison there playing the double. This for a two-frame lead. A little bit of awkward curing. I think yeah, the, rubber, the rubber of the pockets yeah, is just slightly in his way. He should still knock this in. Well, he was never going to miss it. He just made sure. Yeah. But anyway, it's Phil Harrison now leading Carl Morris by four frames to two. Long time. Yeah. Tough really. player to play against because he's he's quite unorthodox. His his channel of thinking is is quite unique yeah. in, in a way. You know, and he's very very clever in his shots. But it's, but sometimes you think, well, why has he done that? But then. If they come off, yeah, and he's very animated as well as you can see. I so just see there, yeah. The arms are waving about now. He can't believe he's not got a ball off that break. Yeah, I mean he gets through the ball. Oh no, he's um, really clumped him, isn't he? How's he? No, nah, I'd be. You would. You think? How's my luck? Yeah. 
But I think he get punished because he, I mean, he, uh, I think he, you know, he's given that frame away after he's got a second chance, and he almost can call it that he's going to get a dry break because he didn't take the chance in the previous frame. For me, it has to be yellows. Yellows, I'm with you. That one by the black goes in the middle, by the looks of so it. So one at the top of the table, you can shift that out. I mean, I'd, I'd be tempted to play to the lower side and try to get it out now. Yeah. Okay. Out a go. <coughs> yeah, that will be... Uh, so it's got it's going to be coming downstairs now, I would, I would say, maybe, and play the yellow then afterwards next to the black. Yeah, I'd, I'd get rid of that one. And then I think you, you, you've got a ball to bump it out if you need to bump it out. Well, you can move that red and even double. I think he's playing a double now. Is he screwing down into the bottom cushion? I reckon he's coming down the bottom right corner. No, I didn't think that went. But Strange one. Yeah, he obviously thought, but he maybe only had half a pocket to aim for, and that's that was good enough for him. But then he's not too red safe. He's red, isn't he? Yeah, he's red, isn't he? Yes, Cole's, uh, well, there's two reds dodgy at the bottom of the table. Uh, slightly off plant, maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of, could run out of time here, thinking about it. He's going to have to play a shot sooner or later. I not, can't really see, the yellows are all on, aren't they? They're just waiting there. He's going to pop this in the middle. Now then, what's he going to do now? Well, if he plays this down into the bottom right and corner and covers the bag, then Phil's just going to play lots of turn. You'd expect. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. At this point, you'd have to put Harrison as the favourite to win this frame at this stage. Yeah. That so might even come back out. It has. There's enough. There's enough room there for the yellow, but he's, he's left not a good left. Wide, him. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously play for the double on the red if uh, it did go in. So he's got a fine, fine snick. Any option I think there, Tony? Well, besides that, I, I, could he play the, the yellow off the red into the corner? Or would it it'd probably go near near jaw, wouldn't it? Phil there just realising yeah, the right clock was time. going. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's an opportunity for reds. He's got a free ball plant there. I think they come off the yellow and knock the red in. Maybe he's just going to sort these two out. Even on top of the other yellow. Oh, well, that'll do. Well, that's just lost a turn. So Harrison will come to the table and have to play from here on yellows. Well, Carl's turned this around in a couple of shots, hasn't he? I would say his favourite. I think there might be some twists and turns between these two in this frame. Yeah. Phil almost looks like he's going through the, the motion of, of trying to protect my two frame lead, sort of the way he's playing at the moment. Yeah. And that, that is the trouble with um, when, you, when you're playing with a clock as well as playing for um, a race of a, a match. You have to take that in consideration. You just you don't need to win the match. You can just see the time out, chew up a. Well, he's, he's decided to go for. It. I always love the way Carl plays a shot and he immediately <laughs> sort of jumps and hunches over the table, looking at the cue ball. Yeah. Staring at staring at it with intent, like you know, you will kick the ball. I want you to kick. It's quite. <laughs> it's quite funny. Very animated character. Cracking player. Yeah, he's got no other option. I think he's got to play safe. Maybe just push the red out. No. Oh. Wow. Has he left him? Does that squeeze past the red over the hole? Well, this is the thing. You can obviously cut this yellow in into the bottom left-hand corner. Now, it all depends if the yellow on the right-hand side that's nearest the cushion will, like you said, Dylan, will sneak by. Because if it does clank into that red, it should push the red away and, and open up the pocket for the other yellow. Yeah. If it, if it does... 
then this is this is a golden chance. It looks like he's playing. For, he's gonna he's gonna try and. Well, if you're gonna play that, you play the yellow at the top first. Yeah. You get rid of that out of the way. I won't be playing it right now because you can get down there. In fact, you can get a bit closer. Yeah, he's looking. Bit at right that. hand side and come down. I think let's go. I think he does take that one at the top. He's yeah, he's taking it now. Well, this will be a bad error from Carl. We've um, he's pinching it with go. a bit of side to get over. Oh, yeah. that had a funny kick off that rail. Yeah, that's that's the new cloth pack then again, playing up. How about if the yellow that's nearest the red actually goes straight into the knuckle and off it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sort of forces its way through and it can just yeah. screw out. Can't it's it? Sort yeah. of like because the two. Well, if you play at a pace, the two balls collide. Yeah. And if you've got it in front of the red, the red will push the yellow into the pocket and the, the, the red will spring back out. Yeah, he's just looked at where he can bring the white out. Maybe play for this all along. I think he's going to can the two reds. And, yeah. Oh. It's hung. You're right. He did play for that all along. Someone's playing lots of turn in a second, I would have thought. Or a skill shot. Whether he's comfortable with that, he can screw straight back. Just be land where he's yeah, literally where he's put his hand and he's yeah that's it. Yeah. He, is it having a go at both here if it doesn't go follow it and he's still leaving it safe yeah yeah good shot oh brilliant shot from Carl Morris is he, yeah he's all right one at the top pocket so the one by the black now becomes his awkward ball he just leaves an angle or maybe he can nudge it out or we'll get actually. behind it and play in the middle yeah he can just nudge it yes but I think he nudges us out and he's still on the ball in the middle. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's fine. That's a lovely shot. Well, there's been um, to and fro in the last few frames. No one really taking it to him. A bit too far? No, he's fine now. Yeah, you're yeah, because the black does go past the two yellows into the right hand corner. So if you leave an angle and just pop this down the rail and come back out again. Yeah. Plonked a little bit of side on there just for the gallery. <laughs> Surprise, yeah. That's fine. This for 4 3. Well, Do you know, he well, was queuing well. up there for so long, I thought. The more he cues, I think the less chance he's going to pop it. You know oh, when wow. you're wrong, and it's almost like he's adjusting on the shot. Wow. I didn't see that coming, Dylan. That and is I unbelievable. Carl will be absolutely devastated with missing that ball, and Harrison there just looking to see where he wants to leave the cue ball. He's not going to go game here. He's going to play to leave the cue ball at the top of the table. But there's a danger to that. He's running out of time. Look, he's, he's done it again. Well, he's has he left the gap? He could. Well, he's, I mean, well, Carl, Carl can see the black, but can he pot it? Is there any value of just rolling into it? No, I'd say to to both of those. Even if you played this, get the cube at the top of the table. The, the yellow's still too close to the bag. I think. Yeah, this. I know there's a time and a place for a hit, for a hit, hit and hope. hope. I think he's got. He's, he's I looked, think that's that's the best option. Uh, yeah. It's, there's no hiding place. You know, he's going to leave some. Oh my, he's run out of time. He's, oh my God, what is he doing? He's going, going to the knuckles, isn't he? Oh, oh, he dear, did. He had to go with a two. Oh, he's conceded. He's allowed well, to do that. I wouldn't have conceded that. He's not allowed to do that, is he? Well, um, if there's any option, is there? He could be playing one of your mates or, or a lesser opponent. Who would you want to play? He said a lesser opponent. I don't want. He said, not, he said I'm not mates on the pool table, pretty much. And yeah. that's, you know, and that's right. Well, straighten off. So, how are these are looking? Uh, reds? No, maybe. Well, cue ball behind the bolt line for a start, for an off the break. So, yeah, he doesn't get the luxury of anywhere on the table. That would make a massive difference. Yeah, he's I'd say yellows, but his first yellow is a bit awkward, isn't it? So I'd probably take the long one in between on the left hand side by the black. Unless he takes a long one down a rail. 
but then you, yeah, I think he's he's going for the long yellow. Going well, he won't side. he won't shy away, won't Carl from the from the tough pots. He'll still play them. Yeah. Played it well. Very good shot. Well, it's a confident shot. It's a screw back, you know. I think. The one thing about Carl is he, it, he won't just linger with, with that. He gets on with a job now. You yeah. know, it, yes, he'll be animated, but it, it won't affect his play. He'll still think he can pot the balls and smash them in and, and all of that. Yeah. So, you know, he'll have forgotten about the last train now. Yeah, play the plant. Like I say, don't get me wrong, if anything else goes, goes against yeah. him, the arms will be up in the air. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the way he gets that finger and he points. And he yeah, that's where he, want, that's where he yeah. wants a cue ball. Now you get there. I think he's going to try and play this so he leaves the yellow over the hole and then come up. I think he was trying to leave the yellow in the middle so he can drift up and take that one off up the top there. And then he's got well the he two pop this one the through the gap into the centre here. But it's all going to yeah. be about the yellow at the top of the table. It is. I think he's going to have to take one over the hole now, isn't he? Yeah. So, will he take the two at the... He's it's not easy. The <laughs> take the two at the bottom. Yeah, I mean... Not only that, we're about to enter into 15 second of shot land as well, Dylan, just, oh. to, just to add to the... Um, well, they're struggling with the first, the so <laughs> the 15 is going to be <coughs> a, a fun in games. Well, it will be after this next shot. So, here we go. Carl has already used his extension in this frame as well, so... Yeah, yeah this is where you get caught out when it's the first time for 15 seconds. Well, the referee does call it, <laughs> but yeah. you've got to remember that Carl is deaf. Yeah. So, I, I mean, obviously you can see this, the balls around there. And oh, that's a great shot. What a shot he's that played there. That is a great shot. Wow. So, just one... One good bit of queuing, and he could leave the black he's just missed in the last frame. That's a super shot. Lovely shot. The one before it was a brilliant position shot. What a finish this has been. Yeah, he's not taking a chance now. He's going to punch this in. No, right. Ball. So, yeah, brilliant well. finish from Morris. I'm going to say four. <laughs> 50 feet. And he's dry again. That is unbelievable. So we're both wrong by miles. Yes, well. <laughs> he's, I thought he was going to play the guitar then. <laughs> I think he's left a few problems to feel, but we're going to see when we go back. Well, it's not as if he's not splitting the balls. Oh, he's, he's getting through it so well. Yeah. Just oh. been unlucky. Oh, I think the yellow's a. Well, he hasn't got an easy first yellow, so. Top two for the Reds. At what point do you start trying to manipulate the clock, Dylan? Well, because he's two frames now, um, you might have an eye on it. I, I, I think five minutes, five minutes in, I think you've got two frame lead. It that was a handy shot. That was that was nice. One good pop. If you can get through to the top, can you get? You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, if you can get this back out. Is he all right? Flirting there and he's back in A1 position there. Yeah, he's still got a little little problem over on the left hand side. Um, I don't think he can do it with this ball, but I'm sure he'll work his magic round. I think if he wins this frame, he starts to mini manipulate the clock. I yeah, really oh, I think yeah. at three, with, with say seven, six and a half minutes, let's, let's say, yeah. if, if he was to take out this finish. I think he's, he's played a bit of a loose one there, unless that goes past that yellow in the middle. I think it does. I think it goes oh, far short. He's got a little bit lucky there. It's, it's tight. Yeah, if that goes in, that's all over. Oh, I thought maybe he's followed it through a bit more, but still okay. Just done this over. Might have been scared of hitting it too hard and popping it back out again, but this is the shot. Yeah. Oh, he's played that so well. That's yeah, perfect. He's Absolutely that. perfect. Yeah. If you're going to pick it up and put it with your hands anyway, you'd have put it there. Yeah, that's very good. That's probably killed the, killed the match, really. 
Yeah, and it's going to be under seven minutes, or under, yes, under seven minutes left. See, now I'd be... Now, with, now with it's doing... Li yeah, definitely, take the ten seconds it off. Now. Yeah, wait for that bleeps. And... Yeah. I think if you're in the, in the top four or five this weekend and you're playing for, you know, rather than maybe not quite that high up the rankings, and again, with a, a world of experience that Carl's got... Yeah. Well, there's his first. first but he has part to of put it. his shoes on. He can't play. Yeah. Oh yeah, so he's just wasted time. There, he's you know. I mean, he's got a great opportunity here. There's, I mean, they're all all there, aren't they? The Reds. Unless he puts one on the cushion. Maybe he takes his shoes off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, puts some flip flops on. Comes yeah. out with a sun hat, swimming trunks. <laughs> he's got to take the nudge. Well, he's aware that he has to win these frames and win them quick. Yeah. I would take but them. the black goes in the bottom left-hand corner, by the way. I would take them. No, they go last. But the two reds in the middle, I think if he doesn't, he's got to land straight and he's got inside them. I would, I would have taken them with the two balls over the hole. He takes them now. But he, he has to leave. If he's going to lose, lose, where's the white going? The white's going. Well, see, the black goes in the bottom left-hand corner, so he wanted, ideally he would have wanted to be on that of the red. I'm just going to do skimmer. Yeah, OK. If he can get to the, the red to take it up into top left. It goes in the middle as well, the black. If he can... Okay, we just check. He's got to hope that doesn't bounce as much. It's gone too far. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to... Oh, blimey now. That's probably the worst angle to the left. He's got a yellow on the ball line that's possibly... That's play top top, possibly top of the table, left-hand side. Punch it off that top rail, come with left-hand side. Come back down and have that black in the middle, like you said. He's going to run out of time, isn't he? No, he's he's gone for the gap. Off, he? No, he's got there. Oh, what a oh. shot. That's a great shot. What a shot from Morris. He's, he's talking and he's wasting his valuable seconds here. He's probably telling he's, he's telling Phil he's got plenty of time yet to win the match. Yeah, the same, same position as... He's got one. And oh. how's the split? Oh, he's unbelievable. He's going to have to cut a yellow along the rail. The arms are out. Yeah. He's going to have to play... I mean, if he pots that yellow along the rail, they're, they're there. If he pots that along along the rail, he's up. He's going to throw it up. He's it's called the extension. Yep. Right. No, he's playing safe, I think. But then that's going against the clock. Yeah. Well, he's left the red on, so I mean. Well, Harrison will call extension now, surely. Yeah, and, take and then he'll he'll use he his could time. Take, he could take a, a minute and a half with the open reds. Uh, yeah, the open reds, and possibly clear. Or he could just mess them up again. He could pot this first one. Oh, he's he's got the yellow down the bottom. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! wow I'll tell you what. I don't think he played that either, because when he no. when he as soon as he's the Q left his, his arm, what well, did leave his arm? When he queued it, he jumped up as if yep. in dismay like that he, he knew he'd missed it, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I'd say he's, he's had the run of this game. I mean, he has indeed. That was a hell of a shot. That was, um, that was a bit unlucky. He's not landed on that ball on the port line. Well, with the two frame cushion now, you think that Phil is going to see this out. He's going to use every last second now. Yeah. While he's at the table, is he? Is he? He doesn't mind okay? the cue rolling about a bit. Does, now, does this slide past? It possibly does. It might just slide off the knuckle, dead weight, and he can actually just go and win the match from here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it does. Oh, yeah. We went in a bit. Well, that, that, that was, was quite wider a big than pocket. I thought, actually. Yeah. It was wider than, than we both thought, Dylan. So just one little... Slap this, just punch this with a little bit of side off the rail for me, just and pop it out through that gap. I wouldn't... Pass the two reds that way. Sort of, yeah, but yeah, I'd play a bit more punch shot. Yeah. Come, Come out, out a bit, bit more further. central. Yeah, yeah, and then he's... I probably wouldn't. I've probably tried to play the punch shot and snoop myself behind the two reds is probably what I would have done. <laughs> yeah, and that's... The black, the black goes, is it? He's having a look. Uh, he's going to cross probably. I think just, into just the play to get it in the centre if he can yeah. get around the back of these reds. So straight across, if any, just kicks into the the bottom red. And Perfect. Yeah. Straight at the top corner for me. I think now he's pretty straight. I think he's going to drop that in the middle. Oh, he's going top. You're right. 
You know to, you know more. Always right, Dylan. Yeah. This for the match. And then it goes and it's Phil Harrison.